Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Mallory and I love to read. I love to read fantasy, uh, romance, mostly YA, but yeah, today we're gonna talk about all of the books that I read in April. The first book that I read, I got from the library, so I don't have a physical copy, but it is the second book in the Remnant Chronicles um, by Mary E. Pearson and I gave it four stars. It's called The Heart of Betrayal. I can't really say much about spoiling the first one. The first one is called The Kiss of Deception, but I really enjoyed the storyline and the setting of the book. I thought it was just so creative, the world building, the development of the relationships. And then I did a reread um, of Paper Towns by John Green and this is actually the first book I ever annotated because I got tabs recently for my birthday and I when I originally read this I gave it five stars and I gave it five stars on the reread as well because just it gave me so much nostalgia of like being back in high school and like when I read this like it gave me the vibes of like who I was as a reader in high school and when I enjoyed this so much. Um, this one is about um, Quentin and he lives next door to Margo and they've grown up together um, but they only really hung out when they were younger. They kind of grow apart and but then in high school Margo's boyfriend cheats on her with her best friend and she enlists Quentin to go with her on this night of pranks and she has like, this whole plan to get revenge and then after that she goes missing and the rest of the book is Quentin um, trying to find her and she leaves all these clues for him and it's just really fun and I love John Green's writing I feel like it's really whimsical even though it's not like fantastical or magical in any way it's like just like his characters and the banter and I just love, love John Green. <laughs> um, then I read the third book in the Remnant Chronicles called The Beauty of Darkness. I gave it four stars as well. Overall, the Remnant Chronicles, I give a four stars, it's a four star series. I really enjoyed my time reading it and I really liked the characters and the character development and I thought it was really uh, creative how she intermixed the mystery aspect in her books in that series and I thought it was really fun so I would recommend it <laughs> and uh, the reason I read that whole trilogy is because I chose Dance of Thieves for my book club with my roommates from college <laughs> and I found out like a month or two before that you're supposed to read the Remnant Chronicles before you read Dance of Thieves. I just felt like it would be a really good book for me. I think it like perfectly matches my taste in books and this one, um, yeah, I just wanted to enjoy it as much as possible. So I wanted all the background and I highly recommend that. Um, I would say if you read the first book of the Remnant Chronicles and you don't enjoy it that much, then you don't have to read the whole series, but it definitely gives good background and it makes the beginning of this book way less confusing because that's how my friends in my book club kind of felt. They didn't really know what was going on or what the world was. Um, you can catch on if you don't want to read them, but I recommend that you do because I like them and it helped me like this book a lot more. This book is about Kazi and Jace, and it's for forced proximity, enemy, enemies to lovers. I think this author is really good at explaining the characters' motivations behind like why they are the way that they are and what they're doing, and they are against each other, but you can understand both sides, and one of them's not evil. Like, they, they have opposing like ideas of what they should be doing or something like that, but they're they're both good. And that's what I really enjoy about this so that you don't have this like <laughs> internal conflict about like, but he's a bad guy or she's a bad girl or whatever it is. It's like, 
they're both good people, they just have conflicting motivations. So I thought that was really cool and yeah, I love the plot. So I'm really excited to read the next one. Um, and then I read One in Rome by Sarah. Oh, I gave Dance of Thieves five stars. Um, but I read When in Rome by Sarah Adams. This is an adult romance. It's closed door. Um, and I loved it. I gave it five stars as well. Um, Sarah Adams is my favorite romance author. This one is about Amelia and she is a pop star. Um, and she loves Audrey Hepburn. So she watched the movie When in Rome with Audrey Hepburn and she decided, I need to do that. I need to get away and travel um, and go to Rome. But she goes to the closest Rome to her, which is Rome, Kentucky. Um, and when she drives there, her car breaks down in Noah's yard. And Noah is a pie shop owner. Um, this is Grumpy Sunshine. And he is just like, sworn off all relationships. He had a bad relationship that he just got out of and he just was like done with women and doesn't want anything to do with that. Um, and she's staying there in town while her car is getting fixed and it just goes from there. And I thought it was really good. The banter, the tension, the chemistry, it was so good. I, and I love Rome, Kentucky. I love small towns, so that was great. And then I read on my Kindle, um, The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. This is also an adult closed door romance. Um, I really like that one. I gave it four stars. And I, that one is about, what is their names? The female main character is an executive protection agent and she is put on the job to protect the main male character who is an actor and he has some like stalkers and so and crazy fans so she has to protect him his mom is sick and that's why he's in town and that's why she's there protecting him is because he's gonna be um, they're taking care of her and, and to lower the mom's stress they have to fake date in front of her so it's fake dating trope and i really liked it i thought that the main character had really good character development and i thought that she the author did a really good job of having well-rounded characters and good banter and yeah, it was just really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you've read any of these books. I love to talk about books, so I'd love to hear what you have to say and talk about them with you. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be posting about every week, I think. So yeah, look out for more videos. Thanks for watching, bye.